Hi all and welcome back to my first ever ongoing Let's Play of Void Swept. We are in the pristine cathedral and the second campfire and I think we are getting towards the very end of the game. Just a hunch. And we will continue to work towards that but before we get started I just wanted to say that if you happen to like this video or even better this channel I would love it if you drop a sub or a like. And I would also love any type of comments, good or bad, because that's the only way I know what you like and what you don't. And why not check out the game as well? And having said that, it is time to press on. And I was thinking, this could very well be the point of no return inside of the cathedral. And we do have... some of these cards still. Vitality, Endurance, Shell, Haste, Aura, and Power. So I think maybe we should use them. And I think the Power card should go to Zark. Did I have more than one? No. Uh, the Endurance, we should probably have on uh, our two magic users, maybe? Let's give her that one as well. Resistance. Let's give it to Sarg. And we have another one. Okay. Give that to Climbing. And Haste card. It's nice. Once again, maybe Climbing. And. Vitality card, max HP by 10. Let's give that to Zion, seeing as he is at the lowest. I think that's kinda... This one would be nice to have as well though, wouldn't it? Remove buffs on all foes. We could give that one to Climbing, seeing as she has the single Lumen thing going, yeah. So, here we go again with the Omni Lumen. There we go. Alright, so I think we are somewhat prepared. This is a point of no return. Final battle awaits. Proceed. Proceed. Hmm? You're here. You finally made it. Sarth Climbing. Though, I suppose, you wouldn't remember me. That's right. Sorry. But, it was you who called us here, no? Yes. I am Adele. Adele? That name feels... familiar. I believe you have many questions. Please tell us what happened to our world one year ago. What caused the great catastrophe? This world has went through numerous regressions. Regressions? Tempos, a divine entity once ruled this world. To prevent chaos, he created a system where four overlords watch over and guide humans. But that system always ended with war and destruction. Each time destruction ensued, 
Templars would regress the world and start the system from the beginning. Until one day an overlord was born with regularities. She possessed knowledge no others had. With her most powerful champion, the overlord re rebelled against the system and brought down Templars. However, their actions gave rise to a dormant divine entity, Sakeless. Sakeless foresaw destruction and seeks to prevent it by eradicating all of humanity and replacing them with mindless, obedient puppets. Then, are you telling me that? Yes, that was the cause of the Great Catastrophe. But Sakeless' objective was not fully realized. She was sealed by the Overlord who brought down Templars. Overlords are creations of divine entity. No matter how strong we are, we can never defeat our creators. But humans can. The Overlord sent her human champion back to Earth so that he may reach the place where the Overlord is waiting and slay Sakeless. The human was reborn in you. But amidst all the chaos, his reincarnation was incomplete, and he has no past nor any memories of it. Uh, you finally reached this place, Surania. No, Sarth. Then Sarth is. But what about climbing? Climbing. It's good to see you again. You are an overlord just like myself. I was? An overlord? At one point you two challenged Tempos, but you were defeated. You were resurrected by Sakeless. Sakeless intend to use you to reach her objective. But that didn't happen. It seems you lost your Overlord authority, and your memories along with it. What will you do now? I... I will help humanity to build a future free from the Divine Entity's hands. I see. You've always been a kind Overlord, Climby. The Divine Entities, they are not originally a part of this world. Their existence are anom anomalies and they have corrupted the void, the essence of this universe, to use it against humanity. Right now, Sakeless is sealed within this cathedral. All this time I have been maintaining the seal, waiting for you to reach this place. Zarth, though you may not remember anything, will you fight for me once again? I don't remember you, but somehow I can tell that you have blessed me with many things in the previous world. That's why I trust you, Lady Adelum. Yes, I feel the same. Everything about you feels familiar. It is as if we were old friends. If they so, Say so, then I will fight too. Sarth and Climene are our precious comrades. That's why we will always help them. Indeed, we will see this through to the end. Yeah, let's bring an end to this case and see a bright, prosperous future. That's right, let's do this. Thank you. I will take you to where Sakeless is. Though weakened by the seal, Sakeless is still a divine entity with tremendous power. But even so, I believe in humanity's potential. And most importantly, I believe in you, Sarth. I see, for you to come to this place, 
The will of humankind is strong indeed. But it matters not. My judgment is absolute. Your salvation is nigh. Wow, that's a sort of disturbing thing. Dark magic? Divine entity sacred. I have strengthened the seal. Strike at her weaknesses. Seiko's elemental weaknesses have changed. That's bad, I think. Fiscal attack. The spear is a weakness.
Nice catch. Seiko's elemental weaknesses have changed. Also oh, now we have... Okay, we don't really need that. Ouch. Okay, now we kind of do. Yes, indeed. So that hit. In fact, I do have 16 of those.
Ouch. Damn it. Oh well. Timing, good timing. how it is. Sekla's elemental weaknesses have changed. Oh my, that was a big old hit.
Another big hit. Rank up, 37. 15,000 plus gold. And we have the Shimut unlocked, a new dawn. I see, even I have been defeated. So this is the potential that Adelum believed in. Adele, it's finally over. The divine entities are no more, and the order of the world will return to how it's supposed to be. My powers have disappeared completely after all this long battle against Sickless. And now, I'm not sure what to do. I have never given much thought about it, about what I'm going to do once everything is over. This is a world of humans. It's no place for me. That's not true. You fought for humanity's sake. You belong to this world as much as we all do. You think so? And I'm sure the other thing's the same. Hey, you two! Come join us over here! Zion cooked something delicious! Huh? You can cook? This is delicious! Haha! <laughs> Zion is extremely talented after all. You flatter me. A new beginning, huh? Transcendence Legacy? Void swept. Created and developed by Sir Surth. Sir Surth.
Well, that was the very end of Transcendence Legacy Void Swept, and on the whole, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game. I might even do a new game plus in the future at some point. We also got most of the achievements. There are some still in there. I know for a fact that two of them are given out for petting the cat and the dog quite a few times, and I would not be surprised if the, the ones that are still hidden might have to do with New Game Plus. Anyhow, a very, very solid first entry into the RPG world from Sir Surth. Sir Surth? It's a hard name to pronounce. So, thank you for watching this entire Let's Play alongside with me. If you liked it, I would love it if you dropped a sub or like. I would also love it if I saw you again in future videos. But for now, it is time to say bye-bye to VoiceWeb and bye-bye to you. See you out there in gaming land.